My next guest spent months pushing for these images to be released, so is he now convinced that it's not alien technology? Let's ask him. Harvard professor Avi Loeb joins me now. Okay, Avi, you've been telling me for months now that you think this might be an alien object. Is this a disappointment? No, because there wasn't much uh, new information released. Uh, in fact, uh, we knew most of the details that were mentioned today from uh, uh, the scientific uh, sharing of data from the Hubble Space Telescope, the Webb Space Telescope. And um, what they uncovered was the skin of the object, uh, basically that uh, some ices and perhaps some dust that evaporates uh, when the sun illuminates that surface. But um, even if you consider a spacecraft that travels through the cold interstellar medium, it would accumulate over time uh, ices and dust on it that would be released and you don't need large quantities to explain that data and you don't you are not supposed to judge a book by its cover so wait so are you saying are you saying it could still be an alien object well i'm saying the data that was uh, shared today did not uh, provide us with new information and uh, in fact uh, the nasa officials did not address the the basic puzzles about this object the mass of the object is a thousand times more than the previous one, a million times more than the first one. Uh, why are we so lucky to, the, to receive such a huge package? Why is it flying in the plane of the planets? Why is there much more uh, nickel than iron in, in, the, in, in what it sheds? There are lots of puzzles that were not even mentioned. And, uh, you know, as Sherlock Holmes uh, noted, there is nothing more deceptive than an obvious fact. They basically say that it's a familiar comet, but are not willing to address those anomalies. They didn't mention any of them, and, and there are no solutions as of yet. In fact, the most uh, exciting data was collected in recent days by amateur astronomers. They did not invest a billion dollars in space telescopes. They used amateur astronomer telescopes that you can buy in thousands of dollars, and they provided us with insights about the jets coming from 3i Atlas. We now have an opportunity in the coming days, the coming weeks, mm. to uh, observe these jets and figure out where they originate and uh, conclusively say whether they come from uh, pockets of ice on the surface of a rock or from thrusters. The, the, the comet or the alien object, because obviously you think the jury is still out on this, uh, it will fly closest to Earth on December 19th. What will we know definitively at that point when it's the closest it'll yes. come to the Earth? Yes. Um, or I guess uh, when they start, like, coming, you know, when they start landing or sending aliens out no, to... No, no. I'm I kidding, mean, um, but you know what I mean. I mean... Uh, yeah, a simple detail is to figure out where the jets are coming from, because if they come from uh, ice that is sublimated by sunlight, we know the characteristic speed of the volatiles that come out of that, and we know how much mass will be evaporated and uh, the composition of that. So if we find that we can explain all of these components with a natural origin, then uh, the case is closed. However, if we find a much larger speed than expected from a natural object, it might be that this, this is a technological signature. So I would say by uh, December 19th, we, we would have enough data. There would be a flood of data that would tell us uh, what this object is, but let's uh, wait and see. Uh, do, you think, you know, do, you, do you think NASA is open-minded, uh, or do you think NASA's just decided it's a comet and we're going with that? Well, um, bureaucrats or unimaginative scientists want us to believe in the expected. But the rest of us know that the best is yet to come. You know, life is worth living if we allow for the unexpected to surprise us. And, you know, the science is a learning experience. All I'm suggesting is let's collect more data to figure it out for sure. Okay. Because we, we cannot be sure right now. Thank you for watching. Subscribe below and download our News Nation app right now on your phone, and you will get fact based, unbiased news for all Americans.